hello there guys my name is fortune and i welcome you to the channel i post tutorials on front end back end and full stack web development on this channel every single day so consider subscribing right now so hit that subscribe button and let's continue i i put all my energy and all my commitment into making these videos so it's really disheartening when you find out pieces of information such as the one that's about to pop up right now which I found out yesterday that 99% of my viewers actually just view my videos but none of them do subscribe it really takes efforts to pile up this and create this content so as a token of appreciation please just hit that subscribe button it won't take you a thing and if you regret that decision in future you could always unsubscribe but please take your time and just hit that subscribe button I really appreciate it with that out of the way let's get into today's video where we are going to be making a chrome extension okay let's see the demo so this extension is basic it really takes me to my favorite places which is my github account it kind of also takes me to my twitter you can head over to my github maybe leave a few stars it, I, it can take me to my github my sorry my twitter account you can see I post constantly on programming and stuff and it can also take me to YouTube which is the home for every web developer my channel I post content amazing content so please go check this out maybe you'll find a video which interests you okay let's head over and start building out this thing so what you'll need for starters you'll need to create a new folder I'm going to name this fortune launcher and you're obviously going to need some images we're going to be specifying these images in pixels so you're going to need one tiny image which is 19 by 19 pixels really tiny another which is kind of a medium sized image i guess 128 by 128 pixels we we'll to try to open this up but windows has a way of loading for years so let's hope this loads up Okay, it didn't. I think we should just minimize this for now. Okay. So two images. Actually three images, but yeah, three images. The the 19 by 19 pixels, the 128 by 128. You can make this using something like Figma, Krita, whichever tool you use. It will be just fine. Let me close that up. Nope. I don't think it has opened up our image. Kind of giving up on Windows right now. Let me double to click. Let me try to open that. Still isn't loading. Okay. Officially give up on Windows. I'm heading to another operating system. Maybe Linux. But when I, when I become wealthier, Mac OS. Okay. So since that failed to open, just make your own 19 by 19 pixels icon. 128 by 128 pixels icon and then one last image we're going to need is the one that we are actually going to display in the the extension itself the one that will be alongside the content and the links so most probably since this isn't loading up just give up and create the folder for the images okay that's just sped up too fast create an images folder and put an image of 640 by 640 then open it up in vs code where we are going to create a manifest.json file for the version we are going to put version 2 the name I'll put fortune launcher and for the description I'll call it quick access fortune con codes content for my, my thing make sure to remember the image that will be in the images folder 640 by 640 pixels so for the manifest.json we're just going to put in the version provide the icons the default action we're going to put in the small pop-up if that was too sped up here is a, the manifest.json thank me later if that seems sped up just head back and look at that screenshot where you can see the code for the manifest.json Okay, now we have created a popup.html, nothing inside really. So in here we're just going to 
copy some of this this is the link to the google font that i'll be using which is roboto just head over to google fonts if you'd like to use the same font but whichever font you use just fine and for the icons i'll be using font awesome so this is the link to the cdn i'm just going to copy and paste that inside okay once you're done with that we can also I'm going to use these style tags for now but let's just open them up for the body we're going to create a div which will hold all the content inside so we're going to call that model Hello, and just hit tab inside it we need what will be holding our logo and the text so we're going to create a class of logo then in here we'll need to put in the image so okay once we've put in the class of logo for the h1 going to put in the image with a class of logo icon and hit tab I'm using Emmet as you can see Emmet is an extension for VS code that lets you just type in like a div dot like pop-up and once you hit tab it will create a div with a class of pop-up if you don't have Emmet just go over to VS code extensions and just get that so uh, we're just specifying the path for our logo and give me an alternative if that fills up to load it's going to save to the launcher and with that out of the way we need to use the, the font awesome tags For that let's just write in uh, the main text which is fortune launcher and specify the version for the version i'm going to put this in span tags so they can have a different look from the title okay and then we're going to create a model content class with a p tag inside which has the second statement underneath our header then down there we're going to create the links to all the various okay once we're done with that we've created the links and copied them we need to style up this because it doesn't look that great right now so okay so for the styles it's quite long so i'm just going to speed this up a bit for writing up the styles I use Emmet for most of this so you're going to see some code snippets just dropping down you might not even see me typing them it'll just drop out that's Emmet for you I mean all you have to do is wait let's cancel the Casper Sky I eliminate my own viruses don't need that so HTML body you have to specify some some tiles for this we don't need this to be full screen because it's going to be an extension so we need to register HTML body okay if that seems a bit too sped up after this there's going to be like a small session where I just scroll up and down over the code and you can see it in like super slow motion and stuff but if you get confused at all or you have no point of reference I'm going to leave the link to the source code down in the description anyway so you can always use that as a point of reference but all you need to know is whichever way you structure this it will just turn out exactly the same way just make sure you make the entire body isn't that long so it can't cover the full resolution of a usual browser page you have to resize it but it's actually an extension and whatever you put in there will be its links you can style it the way you want it will look that way after you upload it to chrome so okay let me just slowly scroll down as you see the styles we wrote you can just put this frame by frame and see it again so that's it let's fire this up and see 
or we can load up what we just made to be an extension so head over to more tools extensions then let me remove this i already put that in then you have to you want to click on load unpacked and then just navigate then just select that and boom it's already there i'm just going to pin it so that i can access it easily make sure the developer options is turned on for your chrome and once i tap that boom it can take me wherever i wanted which was quick access to my content so there is my github with all the code for every single project we do on this channel you'll find that on my github you can also go to twitter follow me follow new and then the home to every developer my youtube channel for front end back end and full stack developers so you can head over there go look at a few videos if you find any that interest you watch them like them and share so that's it for this video oh <laughs> just kidding i haven't showed you how you can actually deploy this so that it's hosted on chrome and people can download that for that you'll need a 640 by 400 and 1200 by 800 screenshot of your extension in use so for this we're going to go to developer.chrome create an account which comes the hiccup you have to pay like five dollars one time fee for this and obviously i couldn't like pay to create an account for just for this video i'm just showing you what you would do if you really wanted to push this and everyone can search and download this extension so all you had to do was just zip the prof the project we just did html and the manifest and the the the, the, the icons just zip that and then just once you've created the account paid their fees just drop it in there with the screenshots and this will be on chrome and people can download it if you like this video like subscribe and consider looking at the rest of the videos on the channel okay guys so if you enjoyed this and you'd like me to do something on whatever topic comment below and i'll see you in the next one okay that's it